Welcome everyone to another episode of World Box. As you remember, there- Oh! We weren't able to focus in on this. Evidently, Great Orton has at war with Deck Get- I'm gonna just say they're getting wrecked. But, um, but I mean, as you can tell, Great Orkton, obviously one of the more powerful cities in the world, and empires. Look at this, one of their colonies has more population than some of the capital cities. Look, look, so 32. Okay, Farmopolis, definitely not, but look, this capital city, 45, but some of the, it's not as populated. Okay, it is more populated than these ones. But, it's more powerful. Wait, what? Paul, this society's got, I'm gonna count this kind of as their, the capital of them, because they can't really expand much on that tiny island. But, as you can kind of tell, that Great Orkton's whooping butt. So yeah, I think we're gonna just set the times to do oh, five times. Yeah, so, as we're watching, you can tell that the Farmopolis is more of like a city-state instead of an empire. Look at, look. So, Farmopolis. Let's check out the city-state of Farmopolis. Okay, Farmopolis! See, their, their kingdom, they have a total of... Cities? One city, so yeah. Farmopolis, city-state. It's in, not a city-state. Not a city-state. Anything that has one city is a city-state. Pretty much, like this, this civilization of Estil, city state. There, but oh, that front I was talking about, the front happened. That's surprising. Like I haven't been on this world at all. Okay, so the what's this purple society? Who's purple? Oh, the elves. The elves are doing okay. Look at them, medieval hippies. Medieval hippies are doing pretty well. And then we got. Or the uh, dwarf society doing pretty well. Probably gonna end up fighting a massive fight with the elves. Little buddy, I wouldn't go there. Friend, good, good. That oh oh, oh! and you can see the first fights are breaking out. They're gonna probably fight over the iron over here. Yeah, there's an intense battle going on. Yeah, that's gonna be a brutal fight. Brutal. Let's see what society is this? Oh, it's another orc. It's another of a. Moria, because I couldn't find another better name for that. But, I mean, they're doing pretty well. There's a massive fight going on. I'm feeling like either the elves are going to win in a, uh, with a crushing defeat of the dwarves, or the dwarves are going to crush the elves. It's act like there's no middle ground. Or it's just going to be, actually, it, these are an eternal war, or the elves win. So, I don't know. Estil is still one of the bigger city states. Well, only city, actually the worst city state. Look at these ci the cities of Hussein. They haven't got to their 100 yet, but they're doing. They're um have more th most of the city. They have a lot more cities. Yeah, we're doing. There's pretty good stuff going on here. I mean, neither does this city empire. They're really interesting because you can tell that this city, this this empire. Has very few offland con con empires cities. They have two, but all of the but they have hundred have a massive empire on the mainland. Look at this; it, they almost cover the entire top of this continent. After a while, I wouldn't doubt that these states, this state, will just control this continent, which will be kind of interesting because I've never I've never seen that before. The Farmopolis city state is doing okay. Feel kind of bad for them. Yeah. This cool mountain range is pretty cool, but yeah, Erdum. I would say they're a city state. Let me check. Actually, we can just check it the easy way. See this button? See these fancy buttons? Kingdoms, realm of more. Oh, Great Orkton has been beaten back. I'm gonna call these ones America. Capital. Oh yeah, the Chippewaka, there's multiple cities. America. Freedom time. See, now this is gonna drive me insane. Freedom time, there we go. There we go, America freedom time. I know they haven't gotten to their 100 yet, but... 
I feel like America Freedom Time is pretty representational of Manifest Destiny on the city. Zop caught. Looks like your ancestors are, didn't survive for nothing. And we got another dwarf society. Great Orkton is being beaten back by America. <laughs> if you understand that. You know what these guys? These guys are going to get a new name. We're ch renaming these guys? Because I just realized that why would we have... So these are the Dwarven Society. And then Kingdom... Capital? Not Moria. You know what their capital is going to be? Germany. Because Germany was very industrial. There you go. And so are these guys. <laughs> Germany! Yeah, Germany. We got Germany up here. Then we got Great Orkton. Then we got America Freedom Time! Up in the top. My steel is doing okay, pretty good. They don't have much stone. That, you know, that's the reason why their population hasn't been growing much. And their limited supplies of food. So, just say, set this to, the, to this. And then God just came over, and boom, freaking stone, man, guys. Look at all that. Now, this society, as you can tell, will eventually explode with population. Actually, these guys probably need some more stone, too. Come on. I know you can get one more. There we go. Yeah. Let's see if there's a fight going on over here. Oh, the dwarves are really pushing the elves over. Pushing the elves back. They're trying to send troops over, but the, there's such a strong fortification for the dwarves on this on this mark. The um, elves just can't pass back through. I'm excited for the next update because they're working on boats, which is amazing because boats will allow much more realistic um, traveling over the ocean. Because swimming across... I mean, like, no normal human being... Well, nor normal... Sentient being would want to swim this. Okay, I wouldn't swim that. So as you can tell, there's a big fight going on here. The dwarves are more fortifying that position. Position. Great Orkton is almost at their 200 mark. No other society has reached 200. Farmopolis might beat them. Nope! Great Orkton has reached 200, granting them a renaming of their civilization. Nonetheless. Now, what they're going to be called is the U I mean, this tutorial bear, I'm going to eventually go into the computer and stab. Or United or Dumb. There. What? I'm so confused why the cat just makes a phone. The United Orkdom. Instead of the United Kingdom, it's a great... Yeah, you get it. Yeah, you can see the ra the Astille is doing pretty well. I haven't upgraded as many of their houses. Oh, they got a mine! See, mines are really good for the cities. is because then they can mine resources, get more material to build their houses bigger. So we're gonna watch this for a little bit. We're gonna see if they can upgrade their houses with me. This is quite why does this game so why it's so quiet. Yeah. Oh, poor elves. Elves these elves in the corn top are gonna get a crushing defeat. Because they keep trying to send troops over, but the dwarves are just like nah. And they're literally just slaughtering them as they cross. Oh, look at this. It's mostly just kids because kids um kids left because kids won't swim across the river and die. There, it's a, it's horrible, absolutely horrible. Yeah, poor little guys. Wait, is that Donald Trump? What? I swear, if he's the leader, I'm going to kill him. Because he was, because that's not legal. Pause in this game. Where is that Trump? I'll move out of the way, man. There he is! 
It's Donald Trump. His name is not Don Alb. Sweet mother of God. Um, uh, there we go. His name is Donald Trump. He's 30 years old. Kingdom. Gosh, what? Donald Trump's the leader. See this? See this guy? He's gonna get smitten. I don't know how to smite a specific person, though. How do you smite a specific human being? Because... I don't know why. Why is he lead? Oh my god, that's Donald Trump. Oh, I'm sorry, man. You're not Donald Trump. You're fine. L. Name. Look at this. Now, now if you look at the kingdom, the name is Elf Name. The king is Elf Name. Donald Trump's over there. He's a farmer. I think. Let me look closer. I can't look closer. I can't see. But as you can tell, the uh oh my, look at these look at these. Mm. The elves are just keep sending troops over like we can eventually win. Just being murder, oh my gosh, it's freaking World War Two. The British kept sending troops over, but Germany was so well defended they couldn't they couldn't break in. I mean that because of that it I have to eventually smit, smite these guys in the name of great of these guys. Oh my gosh! The elves actually did some damage. They destroyed a city. They destroyed some buildings. Awesome. America Freedom Time is doing pretty well. So is Great Orkton, but now he's not a fi at a hundred population for some reason. Probably from the war. Oh, poor the city. I feel bad for the city state of Erdum, Erodum. They don't have any stone. I just realized that. Let's give them some stone on the mountain tops. Okay? Like so. Let me give them some more because they are dwarf. There you guys go. Enjoy. Should we smite? I'm going to smite them. But look, I'm going to edit the map just so it looks pretty. So I don't ha When I smite them, it doesn't look... It doesn't damage the dwarves over here, because I don't want the dwarves to be hurt. There. See, this is how you draw mountains. See that in the ocean? Just happy little accidents. Now you just draw cute little mountain ranges on the edges, like those. And, then, 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 and, there, and there you go. That's how you make mountains. Cute little mountain ranges in the edges. Decrease the temperature like so. Up in the top. Like this. Come on, freeze! Yeah. That's how you make mountains. And now time to smit them. Smite them. Because I'm a wrathful god. This is a natural occurrence, right? Now time to make rain so I don't kill off these dwarves. Not on purpose! Sorry, dwarves! Now they have some nice sandy beaches on this side. Look at that. I saved you guys. There. Erodum is safe. I saved Erodum. Jeez, look at this area over here. It's chaos. Look at the dwarf. The dwarves are fighting a brutal war. Okay, let's zoom out a little bit. Okay, so. We're gonna pause, and I'm gonna draw on the screen. Okay, so guys, as you can tell, okay, so the major conflicts right now are Germany are putting a massive front against the city of Yakovikani. <laughs> I can't pronounce that. And their troops are moving in from the north and doing a frank. Holding a very well fortified position. Donald Trump watches over the battlefield. Look at that. It is. As you can see, the troops, the enemy state of uh, the, the white elves, have set up a major whole good p position and captured some land in the dwarven side. Sending, continually trying to send troops over, they are overwhelmed by the uh, 
massive amount of dwarven troops. As you can, yeah, look, look. So the troops are moving in from this side, trying to take out here, which is now at 100 population, and they're losing. I'm surprised there's no battles going on over here. I, I mean, like, I guess that's good. Oh, oh, there's going to be definitely some fights over here. What is it with elves and living by rivers in this map? Farmopolis? Oh, they're not a city-state. Well, they tried not to be a city-state, but they're not doing so well. They're doing okay. Oh, my. That's not going to be good for them. Then you can see Urodum. Completely natural formation of a mountain and the annihilation of some uh, humans. That's completely natural. Uh... Great Orkton is at 200 population, but it can't just get rid of these guys. Oh, Earl Dumb is not a city-state. They have some cities, but they're burning. Great Orkton is trying its best with the new its cities, but not doing well. A diddle, a daddle, is trying its best, also starving, also doing okay. Probably gonna end up finding war with Geoda. And you can tell that there's some chaos going over here between the, these orcs. Or I don't know what these ones are, but Orcs and humans. And then we've got... And then we've got this gigantic empire! Oh, oh god. That's their, not their capital, but I mean that deserves a renaming, right? I'll do that in a sec. But... Uh, the steel is booming in population since we added that stone. And they control... The, the America Freedom Time pretty much controls the entire top of the continent. So... Yeah, look at this. It's insane. We'll go on for about two more minutes, guys. And I'll start, I'll, we'll end up in this match, but it's beautiful. Like, there's some pretty crazy crap going on. Like, look at all these humans just moving, civilizations moving across the water for colonization. I don't, there's no way this city, okay, we gotta rename them. What should we rename these men? These guys. USA. USA. There we go. There we are. But look at how many people there are. It's amazing. Feel bad for the or the dwarves up here. I feel like the like the, this is America, right? And then that's the Native Americans during the begin during our um, during the beginning of um well the beginning of our country. They're just scared. And then, and then, okay, if they had diseases, I'd be like, smallpox, or something, right? But they're, but that would be weird. Yeah, so, you can see that the USA of USA, and America Freedom Time, those are some of the larger cities on the planet. Wait, whoa, 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 Great Orkton, is, Farmopolis is being under siege! No, wait! By these, the colonies down here, it's insane! Oh, Great Orkton has officially fought, beat back those, the humans over there. This is insane, okay? This is insane! Zopcott is trying to survive up here, but they're probably going to end up being annihilated by the, the or other orc societies. Uh, it's crazy. Well, I mean, yeah. You got this empire up here. I believe these guys are the best. But, yeah. Well, everyone, hope you enjoyed this episode. Uh, World Black, that's what it's called.